Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back again. I welcome everybody. Um, today I'm going to be talking about um, a tea that can help you when you have a heavy flow menstrual period. Um, there's a two concussion that I'm going to be sharing in this video. In my other video, this is the um, second part of the video. In my other video, I talked about how to ease with um, menstrual cramp and low iron. So if you, that, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. So I can't put everything in one video and that's why I split this video into two. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing if you have a heavy menstrual cramp, I mean heavy menstrual flow and you know it's heavy you know and you want to know what you can do to help you to minimize the flow so it won't be as heavy as it used to be stay tuned and watch um, this video and um, the other recipe that I'm going to be sharing just like I said this video includes two recipe so the first recipe let's get started for, with the first recipe and we'll do the second recipe I talk about that one um, we're gonna be needing to make this every flow menstrual uh, period. Um, I know everybody know what is called sorrel. Um, this is the sorrel tea. So if you prefer the, I mean to use the tea, that's fine. I got the tea here, and this is how the tea looks like. See, this is a sorrel tea, and I'm gonna be using honey. I use honey in my, I mean, in every, in everything. My tea, my baking, I use honey because um, at the same time, I'm trying to wash my weight. At the same time, honey can make you gain weight. But just believe, like you know, I don't want to use sugar because already, I'm, I mean, if you having a heavy flow, why do you need sugar? So this is the sorrel tea. If you can, um, if you don't like the tea, you just like to make the raw, um, to use the, um, the dry leaves. This is the sorrel leaves. This is the sorrel leaves, and this is the dry. So if you prefer to use the tea, this is it. I'm gonna be using one tablespoon of honey. So I'm gonna be. I mean, this is um, the sorry tea with one tablespoon of honey, and this is how I make my heavy flow menstrual um, tea. This tea, this tea is very very good. It, this is hibiscus um, dry leaf, and it's called sorrel. You know, and this is the dry leaf again. In case you're interested in buying the dry leaves, look online or look into your one of the local um, Chinese store or Indian store or Jamaican store. So, and this is the tea bag. And um, this is how I make it. So that's how you make your every flow. So that's how. So this is how you make your every flow menstrual tea. Another tea that I'm gonna be talking is if you can get um your hands in raspberry leaf tea, it's very very good. If you go to Old Foods or you go to um your Indian store or Chinese store or Jamaican store or um, Shoprite, I think Shoprite have it like international local stuff or you can go online and get it from dry herbs and uh, um i think they have one i forgot the name but you can check on dry herbs on um online google it so you can get yourself a raspberry leaf tea it's very good too but if i have to choose between raspberry leaf tea and uh, um the sorrel tea i think i'll go to the sorrel tea and if you want to ease yourself at night like you want to calm yourself down with your flow you can mix a um a grated ginger, you can put it in your tea and just you know, take a little nap. It heals the pain, and you know, sorrel tea is very, very good for every flow menstrual period. And raspberry leaf tea is good too. But I've been using um, 
sorrel and I like the sorrel tea but in the morning I drink like this with honey but when I have to you know sleep at night I don't know calm myself down a little bit I tend to put a little bit of um, ginger and I would just you know let it sleep for like five to ten minutes and I just drink it so that's the tip I have for you for today So that is the tip I have for heavy flow is sorrel tea and at the same time you can try a um, raspberry leaf tea um, just like I said um, this is the leaf for the sorrel and this is the tea bag I got this in Chinese store so and it's the same it works just the same it tastes just the same so um if you're looking into that you can try it but it's been helping i drink it like this at um in the morning but at night i tend to mix a um, little bit of ginger it helps to relax you as well because it has ginger in it so that's what i have for you today i hope you like this video if you do please don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you